Thomson Reuters is a, about a $13 billion company. Between Westlaw and Westlaw Next, we have 1,000 times the amount of storage that's in the Library of Congress. The story of Westlaw Next is to find the document or the collection of documents that are really right on point. You just have to demonstrate a cascading set of precedent that can reach back into history. And the earliest precedent is 1685 on Westlaw. And we have that digitized and spinning on storage out in our data center. One page of one jurisdiction may be exactly what that attorney's looking for that allows them to win the case. And if they can't find it, you haven't done your job. I can remember about five years ago, Mike Dane walked into my office and started telling me about this dream he had for a new product. We were gonna search like 50 times as much data and deliver results to a user in half the time. I mean, that's a non-trivial technology problem. And then there was kind of this wow moment to sort of, you know, take a deep breath and try to count the number of laws of physics that have been bent or broken in this conversation. The Westlaw Next application is computationally much more complex than anything we've ever delivered before. NetApp, we're able to profile much of our application and help recommend we think this is a better solution, why don't you look at this? They understood need, and they understood our cost constraint, and then had an answering product strategy for us. Westlaw has over five billion, that's a billion with a B, records sitting out on NetApp storage. We've been able to grow our content set without having to have significant capital investments by using some of the, the compression, some of their duplication technology that I think is really added to the bottom line of our company. There's been a lot of focus on on virtualization. And we use it like in our testing environment so we can spin up test environments very quickly without buying all kinds of hardware so we can simulate different test cases. Basically using the cloud and using a lot of other technologies to simulate real users hitting the system out on the internet. Our virtualization process has probably cut 20 to 25 percent off of our power consumption in the data center floor. We've been able to cut down the need for building another data center. A two megawatt data center is roughly on today's market cost you to build about $65 million. We've dramatically exceeded our sales forecast for the first year of this product. So the customers have validated that the vision that Mike had five years ago is exactly the right fit for the company. NetApp and a lot of other technology providers and a lot of our own people here put a rock solid infrastructure in place that allowed us to even dream of attacking something this ambitious. It was designed and architected from the beginning to be massively scalable. So as our business grows, we expect this product will grow. It's just incredible to watch attorneys go from the very popular and industry leading Westlaw product and look at this new one and say, wow, I wish we had this when I was a law student. It allows them to reach out to more customers. It allows them to provide a higher level of service to those customers. But it's part of this progression towards having technology really add value. It totally changes the game. Storage is foundational to unleashing change. That's why Game Changers are built on NetApp.